What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Flat Book Podcast. I am the co-host, Marcos. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate y'all being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification for more videos. I'm joined today with... I'm Sincere, your host of the Flat Book Podcast. Like I have uh, uh, my kid in here, Puka, sleeping. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just did a flip. <laughs> Still has our eyes closed. It's a new setup. Let us know if you guys like this new setup. Might be the original setup now. Yeah, probably not. The thing in the back behind you, it kind of like looks like the medallion from The Witcher. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking more like. Um, just, on, just on camera because it's only the corner of it. Oh okay, that yeah. makes sense. It always reminded me of the uh, Scooby Doo, like the live action one. Hmm. They're on like that island, and like this crystal ball kind of drops down, yeah. and, like shines and stuff. Everything. It reminds me of that for some reason. Mm. That anyway, movie is creepy. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's creepy. Got terrible ratings though. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah? it got terrible ratings. Oh, I thought that movie did amazing. No, that's what I thought too. It did for me. Yeah, like, yeah. I watched it all Personal the time. Favorite. Yeah, no, it got like the spilled popcorn. And stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Which I wonder who actually rates those. You know? Yeah. Because like, it was like for the people. Yeah, right. There's like for the people, and then there's also like, just from a cinematic standpoint, it is a talking. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It does yeah. look like shit. But even when I first watched it, I was like, this is a classic. Like, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. It's an instant hit. Yeah. Everyone's going to love this. Comedy, horror. Nobody's going to spill popcorn on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> In my personal opinion. First topic. All right. So. so what do we got going on? Um, I would like to say one thing just really quickly. Okay. Last week we had an episode. Mm. We talked about Haitians eating dogs. We? Oui. <laughs> and we said that Haitians were eating dogs. Man, I'm splitting the blame. And <laughs> that's just not correct. It's not. Yeah. So, as uh, the bigger person and um, a representative of Flybook, <laughs> I would like to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyways, you represented us. <laughs> that was it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Our bad. You know, people think we hear things. We're not sure if it's like literal. Yeah. Or you know. Yeah, I was wrong. It, it wasn't Haitians eating uh, like a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It was. A, a, in Springfield, Ohio, mm -hmm. it was one of them doing it in like London or something. So, <laughs> my bad, <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> and they weren't even Haitian, actually. Come to think of it, yeah, yeah. they were. But was... <laughs> Should have done better research, yeah. huh? No, I was definitely drinking the Kool Aid that day. Oh, I was, okay. I was fully in. Is that the... an expression? Yeah, yeah. Drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah. What is What does that mean? Just. Accepting every like all the all oh the you were being yeah. gullible yeah 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 that makes sense uh, you don't know where that's from no no never heard of it oh uh, there's there was a wow. cult that um, pretty much at the end of it he had everyone in a barn house and he put like cyanide in the Kool Aid oh and my killed gosh. like five hundred people in whoa the cult. yeah and all those people were just they were just doing it because like. I don't, I don't know, because they're, they're accepting everything the guy was saying without critically thinking for themselves. They were just... Like, that is really, such a morbid, like... Yeah. Backstory. Yeah. Whoa. There's a lot of bodies. And I, I think they burned it down or something. I don't know. I think the person who did it, though, didn't kill themselves and, like, fled the town and sold off all the people's stuff and whatnot. Yeah, he was just a scam artist, believe it or not. He's a murderer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Don't just lie. Yeah. He just kind of lied to people. No, he killed. Town jokester. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. What happened to him? Um, I don't know. He that cuz I watched like a video of a bunch of cults. Mm. So it could have been the one where he got away. Oh, or that's terrible. He didn't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. Know. Yeah, one of them like they're just like he went to Brazil. And I was just some old dude in Brazil, you know? That is crazy. And the years lined up where he could probably be alive. So. Well, let's hope not. Yeah. Let's hope he met a fitting in. 
uh, talking about a fitting end. Mm. Diddy is meeting the. Diddy's done. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy's done yeah. for it, bro. Uh, situation got worse. Situation like... got real worse. Mm-hmm. He actually locked up. Yeah. You know, so that's a totally different thing. Ooh. Than just having the heat on you, everyone dislike you. Yeah. But you still have a mansion, you know? Um. Oh, the mansion got raided. I heard. Yeah, well, I think. I mean, everybody's probably heard that about that. That was forever ago. Yeah, yeah. But what what happens then? You know, you can still go to hotels. I think that's where he got yeah. arrested, though. That would he make was sense. In a hotel. Yeah. Um, also, he was supposed to turn himself in the next day, and I guess they didn't wait. Um, mm. I guess it was agreed to turn himself in the next day. They arrested him the day beforehand. I don't know why, really. Just something else I heard. Yeah, Just saying things I hear. You could slip us up. <laughs> we seen what's in your mansion. Um, but a thousand yeah. bottles of baby oil, bro. You're not gonna you're not gonna talk about it. Yeah, it's like, a thousand it's bottles, bro. Am I tripping? It was a thousand. A thousand, yeah. That a thousand, is- uh, uh, more than a thousand. They said more than yeah. a thousand. Yeah, like more than a thousand bottles. That is ridiculous. Of lube and baby oil. I, you, I don't even think I've even seen one in store recently. That's how I think about it. The lubricant? It. Yeah. They're like in Walgreens oil. and stuff? Yeah. I mean, they're probably scarce now. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. on the run just buying yeah. them. <laughs> it's like, Clearing the shelf like with the cart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a signature. How much do you need? I guess. Need for? What do you mean need? <laughs> how much do you need for a freak off? You do. You never need that much. You Not a thousand never, bottles. You never need that much. But maybe you just really don't like going to the grocery store. <laughs> There's nothing that you need yeah. in excessive of more than a thousand of anything. Be- because I guess that's like that has to be a big component of it. Is being yeah. just oiled up. That must be like there's a specific time of the, yeah. of the party where it's Damn, like. Damn, that's a shiny it ass room. It's 2 o'clock and he's like, yep, guys. <laughs> it's my signature. I don't know. That's going to be lit, though. I I don't think in his circumstance. Not in his. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, not in his circumstance. Yeah. You can't just be like, what Diddy did is lit. <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. do like clip that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you can't say context. stuff like that. But being. Like uh, having a giant slippery orgy, are you saying that's bad? Are you like you were like no, not me. Yeah, no, not me. Yeah, I'm gonna right. stay clear. <laughs> I'm stay clear, this, bro. I'm the real. You, so you're done you with orgies now, bro? You can't. I'm done with them. I never had a word. <laughs> but like thriving, bro. I mean, I'm not in that situation. Billionaire. You know, I would never be in that situation. Or thousands of bottles, bro. Yeah, yeah. I I would say if it's for like things that I find to be cool, like heck yeah. What do you mean things you find to be cool? Like if it's like, I don't know, like nine women, just me. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm yeah. gonna indulge. Like yeah, I'm not saying go like, have I'm not gonna, sex. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's of that. your, you know, of your yeah. taste. Yeah, like if I have people over, like, and I'm just having a party, I'm not gonna then pull out tons of lubricant and be like, we gotta do this now. You know what I mean? It's not my motto. Actually, yeah. if I had a party, I don't know if I'd even like want to invite dudes to be real. Like, I don't really see like. You no, know you do. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. You want to because if you don't, it gets <clears throat> awkward. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah unless you're video. Oh like, yeah. well, no, he takes he brings dudes. Yeah, he video brings, vixens. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Those two words together are so sad. <laughs> okay, so he was arrested. Did you hear about his bond? Did he get posted bond at all? No, he that? like wanted to do like he offered like a fifty million dollar yeah, bond, yeah, and he got no bond. Mm. So he gotta wait till trial. Yeah, he's done, which is like that's what Young Thug is doing. That's what YNW Melly is doing. Yeah, and they've been gone for years waiting yeah. for that shit. You know, mm-hmm. um, and it I don't like my mind keeps going like ah oh, that sucks. Being in prison and jail and stuff. Yeah, yeah, just waiting. Yeah, and just outside of not feeling bad because, you know, you do bad stuff, you mm. go to jail. Because I feel bad for your thug. I don't want you yeah, to yeah, yeah. be in jail. But your thug isn't a sexual deviant, just a potential murderer, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Also, I don't... 
So not not only do I not feel bad because you know I think you should be in jail for doing crazy <laughs> stuff. Yeah, if you did the crime, yeah, just yeah. bro, just just give it up. Oh yeah, <laughs> just just give it up. <laughs> you heard Come it on, now, guys. folks. Come on, turn yourself in. If you do something wrong, it's bad, guys. You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> Just go there and say you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I seen I seen a, a video online that was like, like they they got a camera in the detective room. Like this guy's like sitting down, and still talking to the detective, and then they open the door and his homie comes in, and he's like, "Davius, just just be honest, bro. They got it on video, man. Like, just oh. be truthful." With them, like, come on, bro. Come you talk about it was like two cousins or brothers. Yeah, yeah, two yeah, black yeah, kids. yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Yeah, that is scary, dude. That has got to be one of the scary, bro. If I ever just, for I mean, obviously would never. These yeah. crimes are bad. Crimes are Think terrible. About it. But if I'm ever in that room, I'm just chilling. Like, yeah, it's gonna be easy in and out. And you come in there, just say you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, don't ever let me get to a phone, bro. Come on, bro. They got families they got to get home to. <laughs> Come on, I bro. mean, I don't know the situ- more than this. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know the situation, you know. And um, I don't want to put they, myself to They me. did something bad and they didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a- yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, one of them didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah. yeah, one of them was. Yeah. Um, but I mean, never been in that situation, so. Yeah. I mean, Diddy was like 50 million. Like, I'll give yeah. it to you. I mean, you can't snitch. Who are you snitching on? Yeah. I think you could just bring other people down with you. I forgot who tried doing that. I think King Vaughn, like, an affiliate of his, tried. Tried to what? Try to, like, get himself out of, like, a bit or something. And he was like, hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll tell you, like, that King Vaughn, like, I'll, I'll testify. Some type of stuff like mm. that. And he was like, if it helps, I even know more stuff about other people. <laughs> what ended up happening was he got jail time. King Von got let out oh. and had a, a pretty pretty good music career going, yeah. you know, which if you're sitting behind bars, just like, oh my gosh, I, I'm ruined. <laughs> I'm, I'm ruined. <laughs> yeah. Bro, because if you know about it. Oh, yeah. Everybody there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That guy is. Yeah. yeah, ran through. But the finishing point I was making about Diddy, Sorry. not me not feeling bad for him. Because he's bad, but mm. also because I don't think this is probably one bad for him or enough. We're dealing with a a super predator, bro. Mm. And then we're throwing him in the jungle and expecting him not to have a great time. Oh, my gosh. Bro, it's we're threatening this episode. nigga with a great time, bro. Oh, my gosh. You want to oh no. just keep fucking big... Big black niggas? <laughs> he was a room full of big black niggas. Well, I guess... You think, you think he booked himself a day early? <laughs> <laughs> you think he was reading the brochure? <laughs> nah, man. Y'all gonna have to turn me in right now. <laughs> oh, I got a pamphlet. Got the look in his lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta make it seem like I don't want to like hear the though. blue ones. The blue uniforms is, is tight. Yeah. Man, that'd be crazy. That's terrifying. Yeah, they bro. locked in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah. booked at Diddy's, bro. That oh, is crazy. whatever jail <laughs> gets Diddy in there, bro. <laughs> their 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 record is out, bro. They should have yeah. thrown Diddy in Rikers Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make it impossible for yeah, him to make escape. a like a custom cage at the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. even hang him, just have him like hanging off a chain, <laughs> just at the ceiling. Oh my goodness, that is terrible, man! Oh. Instead of solitary confinement, yeah, you see, you can't. sentenced to a year with a dead <laughs> alert. Man, did he, did he, imagine did he just understand? Like, man, you can't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> They're locked in with him. Oh my gosh! Whoa, he just goes to jail and gets better. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Reflection, bro. Reflection. We gotta. I mean, what would you rather get him into now? Get him into? Yeah. What could I say? A better punishment, man. Cause we can't. Mm. We can't let him get away with this. We can't let him get away with going to a fucking playpen. <laughs> so the, I guess. Well, I was stating this. I don't know, like the diddler enough to really 
say this should be an appropriate punishment in terms mm-hmm. of what he doesn't like. I mm. I couldn't really I mean just hearing about stuff that he's accumulated over the years. Oh. It's kind of tough to really. We know. could um. Not not chastise him. Oh, be little him. <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, but we could uh, like cut his tubes, bro. Uh, like take him, you know, scoop out all his testosterone. Whatever the medical term for this is, <laughs> <laughs> there's one for it, right? Yeah. Okay. The five nights at Freddy's is that? <laughs> <laughs> Turn him into animal <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stuff him in a in a suit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's legal. I don't know. Yeah. How no, I mean like what they do to like uh, rapists. And oh, stuff. like euthanize them. Mm, I think <laughs> that's what you do to dogs. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Hyla. Let me get the word. You're just listening to a struggle, but. <laughs> euthanize. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a word right here. Though. Put a living. Oh, no, no. I don't know. Put a living being, especially a dog or cat, to death humanely. Yeah, that's what I thought euthanizing was. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's what am I saying? Yeah. What is the word Go to put Diddy to sleep? Get rid of testosterone in the body. Soybeans. Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> become a liberal. Yeah, get him some sugar <laughs> and some mint. That's gonna mess him up. <laughs> Chemical castration. Castration. Yeah. There we go. Chemical castration. Yeah, yeah, you should chemical chemically castrate that man. <laughs> nah, bro, you said it. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> it's just stop right like the cocoon. <laughs> we like c- but chemically castrate is it's that is a tough one. I'm not yeah. trying it. Chemically yeah, castrate. We gotta chemically castrate Diddy, bro. His ass. Yeah, and then we could probably like stick him like a wax man. I, or man, but I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> you just go pay tickets yeah. to see him. We're still stuck on the animatronics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, man, I just hope it doesn't turn into like some like Batman villain origin, where like the test went wrong or something, and they injected him with some crazy serum. So, and he, uh, he breaks out of Riker's a Riker's soldier. <laughs> <Just like> <laughs> he breaks out. Just like, ah, yeah. man, hide Meek Mill at that point. <laughs> Nah, bro. Be, be oh, bro, he's gonna have me like how King Kong got the. Oh go, my like, god, dude, have, that is be crazy. Holding me, <laughs> <laughs> oh right. yeah, but oh sorry, the last thing about Diddy. Oh go, yeah, go ahead. The go old ahead. heads' reaction to Diddy. Did you see any of that? Old heads. Yeah, As like Lucy. Like, hmm. um, oh, little bits and pieces. Yeah. 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 Pretty much their mindset around it, which was like. What's wrong with being freaky now? Like, is it legal to be freaky? Someone else said that. Like, mm. is it illegal to, like, be freaky or what? Mm. And Boosie was like, "How? that's how rappers get ass. And y'all want to call it uh, sex trafficking. Because... That's weird. That's a weird boat to get behind. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is a weird hill to try to die behind. Yeah. Because of, like... Ah, because there is a thing about rappers flying women out to have sex with them. Right, right, right. right. But if you have somebody hook up a woman with you, and like it's like almost like their job, like wingman, mm. that could be included as sex trafficking. Mm. Uh, it, like it's a very broad, it's very broad now. I forget what happened and what law, like, you know, the Roe v. Wade yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, now there's yeah. different things that happen. Right, right, right. I don't know laws like that. But I know something made it pretty open that you could make a lot of these cases like this. Mm-hmm. Now, where Diddy shit gets thrown out the window, he gets, like, no, no benefit nice of the doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's like, there's a video of you beating the fuck out of a lady in, in like, in the... Uh, hallway of a hotel. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's like that's enough, you know. Yeah. And then we have all these texts being released. A lot of victims, male and women. Right, right. And yeah, it looks like it looks like you built a history of like just not just being freaky, but 
like actually harming people. Yeah, being like because, a tyrant. Yeah, like freaky adults consenting amongst each other. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nobody gives a shit. Have all the baby oil you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I as soon as be like a like three bottle max. Wait, go ahead. Go crazy. <laughs> Lord knows we are. But no, we're not. Um, don't, so don't, don't put that there. So the. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, get past that sentence. So I'm saying, hell no. <laughs> man, I just forgot the rest of our sentences. We're just some freaky dudes. Nah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Next up, I'm, I'm on my own terms. <laughs> um, so him saying? doing those things, being a tyrant, abusing his power. Yeah. Like that's... obviously, adults do their thing in private. It's consensual. They yeah. have their partners. The difference with his case is that he was very much. Abusive, yeah. sexually abusive, um, yeah, just sexually abusive. Also, like mentally abusive. Oh yeah, controlling, yeah. using things like power and leverage, violence. Also, mm-hmm. a lot of violence. Also upon men. So you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a it's it's way past being freaky. Freaky is just the fun thing to talk about. If we sat here and talked about you know all the violent acts he did like just talking about that video with Cassie is yeah. not a fun thing to go over oh no you know yeah. so like or the other one where she was like hiding under the blanket like or talking about well, I mean blowing up Kid Cudi's car is kind of fucking crazy yeah for um, sure breaking Drake's arm uh or uh just just crazy just weird violent shit mm-hmm. I mean breaking Drake's arm is pretty lit yeah, I think we can't give him, like... <laughs> no credit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't give him no yeah, credit. Yeah, it's like one of those, like, Hitler situations. Yeah. Like, yeah. if he would have, like, hand-built a doll for a baby, yeah. you can't be like, wow, he's kind of... Or if he dropped, like, 60 points in a game. Yeah, you can't that. That's crazy. nice. That'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> I know what not. he did, but... Yeah, yeah. 60? <laughs> That's, <it. laughs> That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Because he, he was off his rocker. Who? Hitler... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was, souped up on some stuff. Yeah, so he, he was on drugs. Yeah. yeah. So if you dropping sixty, like, man. I mean, probably the drugs. Maybe, but staying focused through all of it. I yeah. don't know. I mean, terrible guy. Yeah. Terrible guy. Regardless of his stats. Regardless of his stats. <laughs> Who else is the bad guy with good stats? Back. Uh, O.J. Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great yeah. stats. Yeah, I think that was a. Uh, Good enough to get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Killer <Yeah>. stats, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he moited the field, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty. That is pretty terrible and crazy. Um, man, it's it's a crazy world, you know. And media does a lot because these things were kind of floating around and they got discredited. I feel like many a times. And having it come to light and having there be justice is is a start, you know. The next thing would be for those people who were affected to feel that justice and feel like they've been heard and, and to heal from it, obviously, you know, having this resource available. You know, because we do kind of, like, we did make fun of a Meek Mill, you know what I mean? It is funny to say Meek Mill, you know. And, Freak, man. Yeah, yeah, and the Teen Contents man. But yeah. I'm hoping that, because he does have family, he is a father. Meek Mill? Yeah. Yeah. Probably beat us up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beats you up. You can't beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Okay. So, oh, yeah, I had, I had some some uh, enlightening topics, but if you have anything else, we can go um, ahead. About Freak Millie? Nah, just the old heads probably need to relax. Yeah. Method yeah. Man had it right. Just go listen to Method Method Head. <laughs> go listen to Method. <laughs> go listen yeah. to Method Man. Yeah. Do you want to give a little bit as to what he, he said? Uh, Method Man just said the shit that he did ain't got nothing to do with hip hop. Yeah. 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 It ain't got nothing to do with hip hop, and he ain't speak out no further. You know? Really yeah. to himself. She was just like, what do you think this impact has to do? Oh. And she was just, and he was like, this ain't got nothing. Ain't. Mm-hmm. These are artists trying to express themselves that is a fan mm. freaky ass nigga man Beautiful. sincere asked me nothing 
But I was like, okay, I want to bring something to the conversation. So uh, transitioning from that, some lighthearted things here. Uh, I was just on Reddit, Twitter, places, media, trying to find something. Uh, this is my personal journalism. You know, I, I, I try finding hard-hitting stories, facts available, mm. personal experience. Because a viewer like you may have either one posted this, which would be crazy. Please comment. Or two have gone through something similar. And it doesn't comment that also. Comment that also. Okay, so um, on Reddit, ask Reddit. We're here with uh, own accountant four eight eight four is the original poster. Uh, the thread was uh, name something or tell a story about something you did that was embarrassing, the embarrassing moment you had. Mm. Reddit thread, right? Reddit thread, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so own accountant said. Was squatting down to pick up my wallet at Walmart, ripped the whole ass out of my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> is that a boy or girl? Uh, it looks like it's a female character. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, which is so hilarious. About a nigga fighting out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just too thick Man, for those pants. Yeah, you imagine just being in Walmart though. Like that's yeah. gotta be crazy, oh, bro. Oh yeah. Oh my, like, cause she had a, an entire agenda going to Walmart. <laughs> she, she was gonna get some, maybe groceries, maybe some yeah. some um, bags for the house, furniture, cleaners, anything, yeah. candles, and just that that minute, that little slip up oh. that led to your whole ass. <laughs> nah, bro, because sometimes I have a big ass cart. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I'm at the end of my, oh wait, I forgot the raisins. Oh, <laughs> I gotta just ass. leave my cart. Yeah. I spent an hour and a half in here shopping for this. <laughs> I just pictured just like a, like a pop, <laughs> <laughs> and just all ass. Because you don't know, man. Just I mean, I, do you feel confident with your underwear selection to be like, mm. this is this is a good pair in, in case something happens. This is what they see. Like right now. Like right now. Yeah, I'm good today. Okay. <laughs> good today? today, bro. Okay. But some okay. underwear I got that like <laughs> I've been been through nah. the union. <laughs> yeah, they I got one shredder. with a hole in it. Yeah, I got one like cloth pair of underwear <laughs> with a hole. Yeah. It's like a tight. It's like a hole like this in it. <laughs> but I don't need. I like, Wait, where? I, where? Like on the ass? Oh, part, like, okay. like right over like the cheek part. <laughs> Just a little, it's a little yeah. tease. So if I ever sag, that would be embarrassing. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be visible and embarrassing. Yeah, my back pocket thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> too many holes. And not to forget, you out of a pair of pants too. <laughs> that could have been your favorite jeans. Oh, God. That just blah. It's embarrassing. Wait, did she say jeans? Yeah, out of her jeans. God damn. Oh my gosh, that that must have been strong. You must nah. Yeah. You must have had some threads showing. Cause just jeans popping out is crazy. That might, that might be a That's confidence ridiculous. booster. Maybe not in that moment. Not that. Not that. <laughs> they, I mean, she, she, she posted on the most embarrassing. So busting through the jeans. Well, rappers say it all the time. <laughs> I don't think talking about that. Okay, uh, next one here. Original poster. I should probably be working. Uh, posted under the thread. <clears throat> most embarrassing moment you've had in public. It said, I mean, it's got to be when I was 14 years old playing uh, football with some friends at the park and absolutely shitted myself. Just oh. aborted the game mid-play and ran. <laughs> Shit streaming down my leg. Kids shouting for me to come back to finish the play. I just took off. I had to wait a few Yo. blocks away to get picked up. <laughs> wait, did he have the football? <laughs> Or did he just run like a Hail Mary hit? I mean, what position would you want to be in at that point, man? Like, imagine you just made a legendary catch and you got to just fumble the ball. Oh, my I gosh. I would have with me, bro. Oh, yeah. Just that would have been running, crazy. Because I don't know if, they, if them kids ever... Because you're 14. You're not really like... Because, like, you know, there's obviously levels to being a kid. Like, he's yeah. obviously a kid, but he's 14 years old. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can communicate properly. People can see your face. Yeah. And, and understand your emotion. I, I just, I can't even imagine the, <laughs> the play he had. I wonder if he got hit. Like, somebody just, like, trucked him. <laughs> 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 Shit. 
Yeah, oh my god. I don't think he could have got away with it. Oh no, no. I think it was a bad step. Like, you know, you run in and like Oh yeah. Like there is a thing with marathon mm-hmm. runners and that when they are done with the marathons, they have these brown streaks and like red streaks. Oh yeah. They yeah. almost look like blood going down their legs. It's because when they run, all the poop in their bodies mm. starts breaking up. And over those really long marathons, it's all just slushed up. So now you wow. just, you smoothied up your... That is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I did not And then now, that. since you're running and bouncing, I think just your your ass muscles are exhausted. Your, you know, your think shirt can't, can't, can't hold it no more. But your body's exhausted. So now that your muscles are exhausted, your poop's all that shut up. disgusting. It just slides out your body. Yeah. So, yeah, marathon runners just be shitting themselves. All right, man. That was. Damn. So I would say stay away from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. It's the PSA. Yeah, yeah. I found that out on TikTok because I saw a bunch of them run in and I thought they were bleeding like, yeah, out yeah, their yeah. ass. I was yeah. like, you will bleed from your ass if you run too much? Like, no, no, this no. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> you will shit yourself. <laughs> you become a smoothie machine. That's disgusting. Okay, getting away from that as quick <laughs> yeah. as I can. Uh, what was Listen. it? Uh, what happened to that guy, though? Oh, he should have talking about running and playing yeah, football. Yeah, playing football. Then he, uh, <laughs> he took off and waited a couple blocks to get picked up. Hopefully wearing jeans, or everyone knew. No, he's wearing shorts. It's like, no. No, if they tell you to come back, I don't think they're aware. Like, it could have been. It's after school, I'm thinking, like, type stuff. You Maybe. Know? So, kids Maybe. be wearing anything, like khakis and yeah. shit. So, I'm hoping he had some stuff that held it with him. That way he didn't yeah. get exposed there. I've had a friend... And I don't want to say their name because <laughs> later on I do want to shout out one of the. <laughs> so I will cut yeah. that part out that they haven't. But I had a friend, um, and he grew up with like a lot of medical problems. Oh, know, okay. So this could have been related. Mm. But we were out playing the playground, playing in the playground, playing mm. like basketball. How old were you? Uh, this is like elementary school. Okay, so pretty young. So you're yeah. a kid. You're a yeah, kid. Yeah, I would kid. say like fifth grade. Okay. Because okay. this feels like right before middle school, mm. which is fifth grade. So I'm <laughs> All right, bro, we get it. <laughs> um, but, I understand. yeah, so I'm playing. I just kind of look over, and he's just, like, standing weird. I remember... <laughs> standing weird. I remember him standing weird, and then I just looked at him, and I didn't stop looking at him. <laughs> which probably, he probably hated that, <laughs> considering what was going on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, um, yeah, I just kept, I kept looking at him, and... He yeah. like shook down his leg, bro. Like, oh my gosh, shit, bro. That shit. Is... He shook shit down his leg, right? He like, shook it out, and then his reaction caught me off guard because I, I have a hard time being embarrassed for people, mm. so I don't want to just like embarrass you because I really I feel bad, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if we're not like close friends or nothing. So unless you're like someone. I'm close to. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he shakes the shit out of his pants, and I'm like, uh, um, <laughs> and then he just was like, oh, uh, um, I had picked up like dog shit, <laughs> and, like put it in my pocket. You know, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> and then he left, bro. He just failed the speech <laughs> check. <laughs> just wow. I was just in like complete awe. I don't remember saying anything. Yeah. I just was just like, like, mm. and then yeah, he just told me that he had picked up dog shit apparently and put it, which lied. You know, like, dog, Super lied. Yeah. Like he had to hold your pocket and pick up dog shit <laughs> and put it in the. Yeah. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> That's worse than shit yourself. Fucking <laughs> said <laughs> for lunch. Like, what are you talking about? That is, that is considerably worse. Like, now that I think about it. Yeah. Because but, your you hands know. are dirty. You're there just collecting it. What else yeah. do you do? That is pretty wow. You but know. I mean, you, you're in the flight or fight mode. You yeah, know? I know he had a lot of stuff going through his mind. Man. Yeah, yeah, and that's the. This best is a one. playground, bro. I'm not sure. If, you know, it's everybody outside. Oh yeah, but I mean, he, he probably just, got away quick. But uh, so yeah. Shout um, out, <laughs> Runzo. <laughs> You're terrible. You forget to. So, I'd be like, like I'll edit the beginning and then I'd be like the rest. Nobody watching. 
All right. I'll leave it all in. <laughs> <laughs> so this, um, what was your most embarrassing moment at work on Reddit? Mm. Undocumented Martian, original poster, uh, has stated or written out, I was wearing a tight shirt, didn't realize how much weight I gained. Those buttons were struggling. In the middle of sitting and explaining to someone, one of the buttons broke and flew into the same monitor I was pointing at. Got a gym <laughs> membership on the same day. <laughs> That's pretty, like, comedic, because you're over there just trying to look professional, trying to help somebody out. <laughs> Meg, what would you feel about your boss if tomorrow they just walked over to tell you something? <laughs> just to... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Would you still uh, work there? Oh yeah, I, I need a raise. Yeah, yeah. yeah this got to be stop kept. Laughing. Yeah, got to be kept between us, for real. God damn. Uh, button flying off. Yeah, no, that is just some like movie shit. Mm. It's like the first date, and then like things yeah, are going yeah, yeah. off, and like trying yeah. to distract her. Fucking button <laughs> pops off in a drink. You're like, oh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so we drink that free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some movie shit. But it's not the worst thing ever. No, it's not. Nah. Yeah. And which is why I was going to transition into <clears throat> the worst uh, thing being ever. on X, formerly known as Twitter. Mm. Some of you may have experienced these. Some of you might have been the reason someone experienced this. Please let us know. So um, I'm under a thread where they're discussing. Uh, uh, tell us the time. What the? Fuck? No, it feels like my. Uh, my sock was like pulling my toe hair. Yeah, I shaved my well, toes. You know, I do shave my toe. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah. That's cool. You had hairy feet. Oh, yeah. 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 It's just a lifestyle, I guess. So I'm on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, under a thread where they're talking about. Tell us a time where an X ruined your B day. Mm. So B day, for those of you who don't know, is short for birthday. Boom, boom. So they get the B from birthday, cut it down to day, just days normal, like the regular day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, Mrs. Big Tits. All I wanted for is I'm on I'm on X, so people's mm. names are a little bit different. Is this a worry for you to mess up your girl's birthday? A worry for me? Yeah. Yeah, it was just my girlfriend's birthday not too long ago, and yeah. I want to make sure that they like it and stuff. Yeah. So I'm not so much of a person that's gonna try to surprise you. Like I might have elements where I'll try to surprise you, but. In terms of how the day's gonna go, I want you to be involved into it because I mean I, I know I know Ariel enough to be like, okay, one day she's obsessed with sushi, the next day she wants nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? One day she wants to just go be comfortable, have some margaritas, other day she wants to dress up and have margaritas, right? Mm -hmm. So it fluctuates. So for me I would wanna make sure that she does have a great day, you know, because she's special to me. But also make sure that I feel like I did something that they appreciated as well. Because if I'm just putting money out there and doing anything for you and I put my, my, my heart, my thoughts yeah. into it, and you're just there all mopey and stuff, I'm going to RKO you. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Brad, bro. It's Brad. Yeah. Had to. What about you? Are you worried about running? Uh, yeah. I would say I would be just scared of being like an embarrassment. Mm. Like an embarrassing, like a... Uh, in front of family or friends or some shit. That makes sense. I'm, I kind of know myself, so mm. I know I like the likelihood of me being that person. Like the person who gets like way too drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. like a public event, like a dinner, or even at the club and stuff. You know? And it's not even my day. I'm out here <laughs> drinking like a bad bitch. <laughs> Have people pour liquor Sorry, in my mouth. Shawty, buy that <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't want to be like embarrassing or nothing. Or just like a vibe killer. You know? Right, right. Because there's right. people who are like obviously get too fucked up. Yeah. And then the people who take themselves way too serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then could like mess up a vibe. So. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Not my day. Just try to <clears throat> get in where I fit in. That's cool. Play your position stuff. Yeah. I respect that. So Mrs. Big Tits on Twitter. All I wanted for my birthday was to get a section and a bottle of my friends. Mm -hmm. I saved up to pay for everything. He told me he had it. I arrive at the club, see mostly his friends, and when it came to pay for the section, his car declined and they kicked us out. Mm. Now this one, depending on who you were on the day, if it was your birthday, that does kind of suck. 
I mean, this is a birthday thread, right? Right, right. It was her birthday. Yeah. And her man um, said that he'll take care of everything. Leave your car at home. Yeah. And he <laughs> somehow made it an excellent day for him and his friends. Because <laughs> you got a bottle, you got a section, you felt cool probably for a yeah. couple hours. And I don't know. For this one, I'm going to have to say it's a win for everybody, actually. Yeah, I don't know how that even works. Because I thought you prepaid That's for I a think. section yeah, at least, yeah. you know? I, I think, was, yeah. What? I was going to say, I think after this post, they were like, yeah, we're going to make people like pay prepaid for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably ruined it for everybody. Yeah, because it was probably like a pretty small club or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, like a little and then they probably tried to charge them after the drinks game or something. You right, know? right. And then that's when he got his shit declined. Does she, did he get a decline because he doesn't have money, or was it just like a card situation? Because I've had card mm-hmm. situations, but that's why I carry multiple cards. You know, isn't it, just too, isn't it too? Don't you like not carry your wallet though? Like I don't. I don't have a wallet right now. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Oh, I have multiple cards on my phone. Oh, yeah, that's I have a credit card, debit card. That's dumb. On your phone? Oh, yes. oh I'm so oh. sorry. I'm dumb. I'm thinking you had it behind your case. Uh, no, no, like, no. Like, you just pull it out. No. Okay. Technology. Just Apple Pay. Yeah. Tech. You have Apple Pay. Okay. No, not Apple Pay, but it's like with Apple Wallet. Okay. Yeah. Apple Pay. Yeah. Well, Apple <laughs> Pay is in my Apple Wallet. Yeah. Technically. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's why, like, that's why I'm like, that sucks. But how much did y'all get the party, too? Because if it was like, oh, we got kicked out at 11. Mm. That sucks, dude. That would suck. You know, yeah. but shit, y'all get kicked out at two. Y'all had a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You definitely had a time, yeah. and you should have done something with it. Yeah, I mean, unless they kicked you out like, like fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air, <laughs> like, you know, like on your ass, like you just yeah. land on the street. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. And so for this next one, you need to leave. Uh, Olori posted. For two consecutive years, <laughs> he broke up with me right before my birthday or right after. Never got me nothing in those two birthdays. Mm. My birthday in those two years were the most horrible. I'm sorry for your loss. And it sounded like this was a calculated move by your ex-boyfriend. This was, like, the first year, I think the first year was probably impulsive, maybe sporadic. He was just like, oh, man, I got I to gotta come up with something. You came back to him, and he was he re-ran that play, which is crazy. Crazy. Two times ain't that much, though. I mean, but it's yeah. two years, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, you, yes, I'm, you don't get that many birthdays, bro. That's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. But I'm assuming, like, right before or right after is the kind of, like, and you didn't get her nothing. Like, that day is yeah. terrible for you to think of. Yeah. Fake arguments. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, that's genius. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. yeah, and then how was he acting for all the other holidays? <laughs> Christmas. And he's stuff. probably a saint. Right <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for his birthday, he was like, "Man, baby, you gotta show out for me, baby." You know I love you, baby. <laughs> More than my mind. But when your birthday comes, I hate you, bitch. This one's not so bad. This one's I was t- turning twenty five, asking for red bombs because that was the stuff at the time. Mm. You know. He said, can you believe that homeboy said he'd get them for me and on my birthday he got me some Aldo shoes or Ross shoes and painted the bottoms red? <laughs> this one's a dub. This one's a dub for the, yeah. for the boyfriend. Because red bottoms are played out now, right? Mm-hmm. People don't really be wearing them. Right. And this was something that had genuine attention and care and craftsmanship. Mm. You know what I mean? Like painting the bottom red. It's two different stories. It's two different stories. I know you didn't get red paint from Mm-mm. Ross. <laughs> you couldn't have. They don't sell them there. Home Depot. So he went home, and he had to get a paintbrush. He had to wait for them to dry. And all right before your birthday. I'm going to go ahead and say the man did He good probably had a YouTube. What's a good paint for the bottom of the shoe? Had to. Had to. And they were like, none. <laughs> <laughs> can't fucking paint the bottom of your shoes. Yeah, actually, I think you can get all those shoes now. Yeah. Do they yeah. look like red bottoms? All those are like little Chelsea boots. They do not look like red bottoms. They look like... What do red bottoms look like? They're like heels and stuff. Uh, This is like... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. That was a privacy thing. For a second, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he got the gum bottoms painted him red. <laughs> yeah, he should have been shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. God damn. And this one here, I would say, it's the last one I have. It's my favorite. Um, Timidi on Twitter. This motherfucker ate most of the 40 piece wings I paid for on my birthday. <laughs> I was really crying, asking him not to reach over onto my plate with this big back ass. And then when he promised to give me two dresses for my birthday, he instead got me three ink pens. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Give us some ink pens. Now I will. I will give him credit. They turned. He. Uh, she was turning fourteen at the time, so probably around oh. the same age. Yeah. However, I, yeah, okay, he's not a grown man. Yeah, no, he's not a grown man. Okay. So we'll give him that. But forty but wings, forty wings at fourteen. <laughs> Why does she want forty wings? I think she bought forty. She's from, big too for okay, my birthday. Bro. But if you buy wings, for you, you're not even no forty wings. No, right? I think it was like twenty twenty, maybe, maybe. I'm being generous, but you only need ten, bro. I'm a grown <laughs> man. I eat a ten piece. Yeah. From wing stop, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not, you know, twenty, boneless or bone. I mean, but you could be any age. If somebody's reaching over to your plate, they reaching over to your plate, yeah. and you're begging them not yeah. to. That's a sweet chin music right yeah. there. Because you could have ate thirty five. You could ate thirty five. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, thirty seven of them. But, <laughs> I mean, also imagine being fourteen and being like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna give you two dresses." Like, <laughs> how? How is he gonna get you? <laughs> But also the three ink pens is hilarious. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they was used and in his back pocket. <laughs> that is pretty. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, I hope they're good pens because there's some pretty good pens out there. Oh yeah. I love yeah. a good smooth pen, bro. I have some. I'm yeah. not even giving to you. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Oh my bad. Yeah, you totally Anyways. set it up. Like that. <laughs> I got yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that's me. The end of that statement. Yeah. Did you ever have any embarrassing moments that you could remember and want to tell? Oh, know? yeah, bro, of course. My life. <laughs> oh. My pity existence. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I've I embarrassed myself quite often. <laughs> um, yeah. I, um, I was talking about this a little bit off camera, but I embarrassed myself trying to lie. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Um... Probably the fifth grade or something. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay. No, this, I'll just say like seventh, sixth grade. Okay. Don't show like that, right? Yeah, old enough. Old yeah. enough. I yeah. knew what I was doing for sure. But oh, it was just such a bad lie, too. Which mm. was, and I don't know where I was going. I just, I, th- I, I think I thought I was invincible. I don't know. <laughs> you lied to yourself. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, there was the first victim. <laughs> there was a point where I was like angry at that person for a while mm. for doing that to me. <laughs> mm. Okay, for calling me out on that. Yeah, yeah, elaborate. Let's let's go ahead continue. Because I was embarrassed. That was mm. it. Yeah. What was the lie about? That? Oh, what was yeah, the yeah, yeah. Tell the <laughs> uh, man. Tiptoeing. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, so pretty much I just lied. What did I say? I said, like, me? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is, like, stupid yeah, yeah. as fuck. Wait, you said seventh and eighth grade? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't I didn't know you then. Okay, okay, okay. Cause I remember I was still at the apartment complex. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. And when I lived there, I had to have been under seventh grade or okay. sixth grade. okay. You keep trying to like. Yeah. Well, I had to be like probably first grade or something. I'm fucking with 17 years old. All right, go ahead. 22. This is in the bar. So, so yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, my bad. So yeah, we're all on one girl's porch. So also, I'm lying to the hoes. Um, who who are the same people who call me out? But <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm telling the story like my uncle, who nobody knows. I don't know either. <laughs> my uncle, who nobody knows. Like, oh, came by, right? <laughs> mm. He's super cool, does awesome shit. Yeah. Took us, like, long boarding, right? And it had, like, ropes. And we would, like, grab cars <laughs> and just, like, long board and use cars to, yeah, like... Yeah, get momentum. Yeah, and speed yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, like, hold on to them as we're going. <laughs> and then I'd be like, like, oh, yeah, and then go from one, like, to the bus. And, like, grab the back of the bus. <laughs> 
And then just be like longboarding around town Dang. and shit. And uh, the girl, her name was e, mm. and you spelled it like I flutter. <laughs> it comes from a hate. It's a blocker. But her name was spelled weird. It's like R I R E R I. Mm. Like E Daddy, but like you say the R is like D's. That is interesting. Yeah, she was like Mexican. Yeah. But yeah, she was just like that didn't happen. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so you're there, right? You're yeah. with how many people? Probably like five. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in a group. Yeah. You're in a group, and, and this person, this yeah, brave think. soul, yeah. decides to break from the mold and just say what everybody's thinking. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and and then what's your reaction? What's everybody's probably gasping? Yeah, yeah. like this is social suicide. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody heard Ireni just look at her, and then yeah. they looked at you to wait. <laughs> yeah, and waited for your response. What did you say back? Um, I don't think I passed out, bro. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. Your legs gave yeah, up from underneath yeah. you. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> I, I remember the heat, like the, just the heat in my face. Oh my gosh! I was, oh shit! Yeah, I can only I can imagine you hitting with one of those. <sighs> <laughs> Get my mom. <laughs> so, she just had down. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Carolyn. <laughs> and then Hayler. <laughs> so she calls you out, and and you just. You're dumbfounded. Yeah. You're shocked. Yeah. And Dumb that's and your brain blocks out whatever happened <laughs> after that, bro. <laughs> for the next seventeen years, I've pretty yeah. much <laughs> been on autopilot. Well, if, <laughs> well, I would say if you get more of the of the context, if, if the memories yeah. start flooding back, because you're gonna be up at night thinking, make sure you drop them down on our uh, Discord. Mm. Right, we have a Discord now. Lincoln Bio. Lincoln Bio. Uh, Bomb Squad, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Bomb Factory. Bomb Factory. Perfect. Bomb Factory. We um, make bombs. Up and coming. You know, we're taking suggestions, you know, to see what you guys want to see more of, maybe more personal memes, suggestions, comments, uh, yeah. parts you like about Discord the... Discord channels. Right, like right. Yeah. Things you liked about the episode and whatever you want to talk about. Yeah. It'll be Lincoln And we'll also bio. be dropping updates in the Discord, so, mm -hmm. you know, when things will be dropping where they'll be dropping. Yeah. And yeah. have a have a say about what's going on, you know? Right, right. Because we're here for y'all, for yeah. sure. And we appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, just want to say, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ring that bell notification. I was going to say in the basic moment, I had. Yeah, I was But then saying. I was going to cut it off, and yeah. I, see you, I see you pondering. Uh, we also discussed this a little bit before camera, so one time, right, and I probably could have been you know, I'm still a kid relative, you know. I'm about 16, 17 years yeah, old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm like 140 pounds soaking wet, you know. Mm. And I'm on YouTube. This is before you had like the Andrew Tate, the David Goggins, you know. You're over here just kind of like thinking to yourself, man, how could I get better? It's winter time. Uh, I live in a cul-de-sac. My homie, Ryan, HR, you guys know him. Uh, my roommate at the time. Or my mom's house room at the time and I was just like man I'm sick of it I'm sick of you know being small fry and mm. I said I just gotta change and I gotta need you to be with me here to push me make sure I don't get distracted we gotta get big man mm. we gotta start working out you know we gotta do something right now we gotta go jogging mm. we gotta go build up our endurance it's cold outside it's gonna make us it's gonna give us more heart you know it's gonna make us really feel like we're doing something I was like, ah, I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't really feel like going. I was like, come on, bro. Stop being a bitch. Come on, bro. Let's do this. He said, <laughs> once in a lifetime. You start you gotta, today. You got to stick today. Yeah. This is going to have a huge there impact. There is on no you. tomorrow. <laughs> Follow <Yeah. laughs> Come on, Rock. Come on. And tomorrow. so I convinced him. You know, we put on, at this time, uh, the joggers were cool so mm. we had our, our joggers zip up H&M hoodies emojis and, 
Yeah, um, oh, Bitmoji's out. Uh, Bitmoji, you got here, son. Yeah, I think he had a uh, Chicago Bulls number 45. Just off the ass yeah. part of the Chuggers. <laughs> so we're, we're ready to we're ready to go at this point. And he's he's ready. You know, he's kind of like already over it, but he has his little skate shoes on. He's like, man, let's go get this over and done with. I said, all right, let me let me get some tunes on, right? So I got my full five. I put on the aux core that they had on the top back then. Some kids don't know about this technology. Mm. This this was at the time revolutionary. Oof. So plug in the aux core on top. I got my favorite track on. Eminem till I collapse. You know I'm ready to spit that hawk venom. You know it's drilling the shot. Yeah. <laughs> so that part, <laughs> so my bones give out and my heart perhaps. Anyways, felt a little bit more of that. So. We get to it, right? And I didn't realize this. Not only was it cold, but at that time, it was also extremely icy. It was mm-hmm. snow out, and unbeknownst to me, I was going to meet something along the lines. I'm, I'm jogging, right? I, I get a little bit in front of Ryan because I kind of want to kind of want to create like that Rocky and Apollo Creed running at the beach type of momentum. Yeah. You know what I mean? That oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to enter full sprint, not jogging. I think I lied to him. I was like, I'm going to just prove to him that I'm fast. Yeah. And I take my first step and I've never felt gravity like I did at this point. I had slipped my whole body. I wish I could sorry, I'm gonna show you. My whole body, almost like in like a cartoon fashion. I'm legs up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> he swung his body to the side. <laughs> swung him around. And it's weird because I felt my legs go up because I could see him. But I could just feel like my arms just trying to figure out what to do to prevent this motion from occurring. Nothing. Boom! I hit the side of my head. I land on my iPhone 5. I break the aux cord. It's all crooked and stuff. You could barely hear him and him in the headphone anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to catch my breath. I, what I feel like is the lowest point in my life, and I just pray that nobody saw it. And it's like a slow reveal to a villain. Ryan was cracking his ass off, man. He was laughing it up. That's and, the worst yeah, part. Of yeah. Oh you my gosh. Yeah. And, and and Ryan will remember. He man. He will tell you to this day when it happens. He will laugh to it too. And I gave up on all ambitions of being. <laughs> I went back home. Any any motivational speech I could have heard, I said, F it, man. I'm going back home. I laid down. Put people, ice. <laughs> people fall on ice. It's hilarious. It's, it's, it's like the initial, oh, and then like they're injured oh and they God. just like slide a and, little and, bit. <laughs> and, like, and, oh. and the snow and the ice made it no softer on, on oh, my body, shit. on my fragile body. It's like if, if like God pulled the plug just right there on me. He just said, you cannot. So that was uh, it's hella powerless when you step on something slippery oh like that. Oh my gosh! It just like it shoots you. Yeah, yeah. You just you it tested is, your it, horizontal, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and it, it's almost like a like, it's almost like a cruel <laughs> fact that you can sense that you're about to fall on your ass. <laughs> like, like I don't remember so much as yeah. to what like like snowy or icy step I had stepped on to begin with to have caused such a such a terrible situation to occur. But it really became apparent to me while I'm my full hundred and forty pound body soaking wet is in the air with no salvation. There's no way because there's no way Ryan was gonna catch me be like, you almost <laughs> fell <laughs> with his knees on the Hell no. It was just straight like I was there, I was like Oh damn! <laughs> just yeah. that immediate impact to my body, and oh my gosh, ah, it's so vivid, bro. I can see the sky, I can see Ryan, I can see my outfit, and it's terrible. And I hope you guys never go through that, or if you've ever went through it, I hope you never fall. Yeah, ever falling, but my body just goes in a full like, like it just turns off. I don't know. I feel like I could almost fall forward. And mm. catch myself, like just if I fell forward, I could like catch myself with my hands. Nah, that's not. If different. I'm falling, yeah, like if I'm just falling in an act, my body just like shuts off. Like, oh. <laughs> and I just hit the. I always get injured when I fall, bro. Like I, I come back like fucked up a little bit, like my arm broke in or something. And I don't yeah. know what happens, bro. Like, like when I fucking fell, I was playing football. <laughs> Like, I fell just, I could have just, I probably could have caught myself. <laughs> yeah. 
But I landed yeah. on like every <laughs> flat surface of my body, just yeah, like a pancake. Yeah. Yeah, you got to, yeah, man, I remember that you got off the floor all misshaped. <laughs> <laughs> It's about like the most painful, <laughs> slowest way possible, bro. No momentum, yeah. just yeah. all pain. Man, the basic thing, my, my little brother, man, he had, it was his first football play, and he had fell, and he tried to catch himself like that, and he broke his arm. Oh, my, yeah, Junior? The junior, yeah, the first oh play. He was God. in the rap for like four months, five months. Yeah. yeah, on his first play, man, he didn't even want to play football, but his friends, his friends egged him on. Oh, I, just, y'all could have get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Never again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if I would have broke my arm back there. Oh, my God. Off that yeah. fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's good at basketball. He don't do football no more. Clearly, wasn't yeah. built for it. <laughs> I mean, our bloodline's not built for that. <laughs> We're more communicators. Oh, no, you're starting to shit. Better team leaders. <laughs> We're better coaches and motivational <laughs> speakers. <laughs> when we get on that field, it's not yeah. a good day. Really not a good day at all. Hard. Yeah. Well, what time are we at? Uh, like an hour or something. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. We, we. Yeah. We make good time. Okay. Perfect. So do you wanna? Thank you guys for enjoying another episode of the Flybug Podcast. Make sure y'all check out the, our bio description thingy, whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it's called. Make sure you check out all links in the description. It's been your biggest, bestest host, sincere. This has been your co-host Marcos. Again, we want to thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. Stay tuned with our Discord, and we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace.